Hey everyone, it's me Tasha. So as you may know, I was struggling with verifying my domain name on MailChimp. And I recently, like, I mean, well, it's been like a month of me trying to figure this out, like trying to get the emails and all this other stuff. So I recently figured it out. So I thought I was having this issue, you might be having this issue too. So let me walk you through it. So we're gonna log in to your account if you have MailChimp which you probably should have MailChimp if you're watching this video. We're going to go to our account. And then we're going to go to settings, verify domain. So my email has been verified, but I need to do some things in the back, the back end. So we're going to set this up. So I have GoDaddy for my hosting. So depending on your hosting, it might be different. If you have GoDaddy and you're using MailChimp, this is the video for you so you can figure out how to do this. We're going to go into our, well, we're going to go into my GoDaddy. So this is my GoDaddy. I'm in my DNS management section. You get this by going to your dom domains and then going there. I will point out, I have already done the steps, but I'm going to show you what I did. So at the very bottom, you're going to go to add. You're going to select what you need to do. I need a C name. So I need to add this C name. This is going to be the host information right here. So copy, paste. It's going to point to this information. Copy. And then I'm going to press save. Since I already have it, I don't need to do that. And then you are going to add text. So you're going to create a text record. So let's go to add again. You're going to select type. You're going to put text. The host is going to be the at sign. The value of that is going to be that information right here. Copy. And then you'll press save. So normally it says on... Um, there and it can take 24 to 48 hours you can do it and it should take maybe 15 20 minutes voila everything is verified on my end i hope this works for you it worked for me cool beans if you have questions please leave them in the comments